Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, got an extra special treat for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the Studio Tau Army. This arm, before we dive in, this army was painted on the heels of a lot of armies that were done in greens and blues and these very cool oceanic colors. And I really wanted to do something different. So, <clears throat> as you'll see, these are done in very warm colors. In fact, let's zoom on in on one of the seven, by the way, here, just so you appreciate that. Seven devilfish in this army. <clears throat> Enough to completely mech it out. I usually run four to six. Uh, this army easily tops 4,000 points. And uh, so let's take a look at the color scheme. It's pretty much warm all around. The white here is actually Vallejo deck tan, highlighted up to white. And charcoal gray as a sort of deep color. And then of course the red. The red is uh, four different layers, one on top of the other, and that kind of gives it that smooth uh, sensation. And you'll see different, you'll see different types of reds uh, from bright to very burnt throughout the entire army. So these drones detach in each case. Uh, one feature of the army is there, is there are a ton of drones. Uh, there are 17 gun drones alone, uh, which is plenty to uh, give companions to your battle suits, and also when your drones detach, you can simply set those aside and put some regular stemmed gun drones in there. They're, they're extremely durable. Okay, so let's start with the troops. There are um, five units of 12 fire warriors, and each one comes with this uh, guy with marker light, like a sergeant type thing. And uh, they're, in the, they're in the same color scheme, this uh, red and deck tan with uh, sort of uh, ochre highlights. And <clears throat> so there's 60 of those. There are four spares over here in case any of them go, uh, go missing or broken. There are also 16 pathfinders. Again, each unit of eight has uh, like a sergeant type in it. And they have devil fish in this recon drone that we, that we painted up. There are uh, five piranhas, again, those with detachable gun drones, all of these with fusion blasters, which makes them a very cheap board choking threat uh, that you, you can't ignore because they're going to be blowing stuff up with those uh, fusion blasters. These are shield drones, plenty of shield drones, at least 10. And you have marker light drones. There are seven of those. And... Uh, let's see here. All right, let's go on to the battle suits. Now, the battle suits, there are two, they should be divided like this. There are two battle suits with just blank arms on them. And I have plenty of magnetized options for those guys over here. Here they are, two burst cannons, um, five flamers, a, an extra plasma, and then two fusions. Um, and while I'm over here, we may as well take, these are for the commanders. But those can also go on the regular battle suits as well. They're just, they're, they're just a little bit more detailed. And so tons of magnetized options, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 magnetized options for those. Now, the other three battle suits are in a pre-done configuration, a very popular one, which uh, in the time was known as the fire knife, which is plasma and missile launcher. And there are two commander battle suits. These, again, have magnetized points on the arms. Uh, one is Shadow Sun, and, uh, but we've removed, the, we've removed the weapon and just made him like a regular commander. Absolutely fantastic piece there. And he's, he's got a little more detail and variation on him. Uh, a very tad of light blue, sort of as a, as a not, not a focal point, but kind of a counterpoint to all the warm colors. And then you've got this guy here. This is the, this is the newly published Battlesuit Commander. Uh, but I usually, the Battlesuit Commanders are fantastic, and a lot of people swear by them. And, and you can definitely run a lot of really good lists with them, but I prefer the two Ethereals, um, because I'm kind of a Fire Warrior guy. Love those basic Fire Warriors. And so yeah, a couple of Ethereals there. And, uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and eat dessert then. You've got four broadsides, each with a pair of, of uh, missile drones to them. That gives you a huge amount of firepower. That gives, you, that gives you eight strength seven shots and four strength five shots 
and, the, and never mind the range and special rules and stuff like that. Twin linked, twin linked. The drones aren't twin linked. Now these come off, so these broadsides here can be uh, converted into rail rifles. There are magnetized pieces for that. Um, I just need to make sure they get in the mix here. Two remoras, these things are through the roof. They're awesome. Arguably one of the best flyers in the game. They have stealth and shrouded. They're super cheap at 110 points. You don't need any upgrades. They've got a networked marker light. That means they themselves can use their own marker light or another unit can use it. They can go to hover mode. By the way, stealth and shrouded means when they jink, they go to a two up uh, cover save. And long barrel burst cannons give them six shots each and they've got two seeker missiles. So there's nothing not to love. The good old standby hammerhead has definitely maintained its strength in this edition uh, with the uh, rail gun giving you a lot of flexibility on the battlefield. Oh, now the battle suits. You got two riptides here, both on decorative bases with shielded missile drones ready to go. These things are absolute manga eye candy and they are great in the game. I always field at least one. Two is kind of overkill, but you know, if you're in a bad mood or your opponent really needs the beat down, then drop both of them. This is a, um, oh my gosh, what is it? A Sunshark bomber. I, 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 uh, razor, razor, oh, I can't even remember the name. Well, here it is. It converts into a Barracuda. It's got various magnetized parts on it. And, um, and then lastly, I actually don't field this guy too much. I go with the Remoras instead, but it's a nice piece to have in there and it's certainly very attractive. This is from Forge World. This is kind of the centerpiece of the army. It's an Irvarna battle suit. Uh, I've done a, a tactics video on this before. So absolutely a fantastic uh, model to have. In fact, let's just go ahead and get around uh, on a 360 here. This guy is amazing. Uh, by the way, this is supposed to move there. And uh, just, you know, the addition of the green, I think really makes it pop. And um, it's uh, definitely a very fun piece to have in your army, a really good centerpiece. So folks, that is the Studio Tau Army. It is really an absolute piece of eye candy. You will have so much fun with this army. Uh, I am putting this on the block at some point. And also you can have an army duplicated uh, or you can just uh, take this color scheme, use it personally, or uh, use it as a basis for your own commissioned BTP army. Well, folks, uh, thank you for tuning in. And if you didn't get your inspiration for the day, I don't know what's going to do it. Thanks.